Something extraordinary is happening in the void between worlds. An object, silent and uninvited, has returned from its fiery passage behind the sun, and the new images of it defy every expectation humanity has ever had about comets. Its name is 3I Atlas, and when astronomers looked again after its perihelion, they found no sweeping tail of dust and vapor, no evidence of melting ice or streaming gas. What they saw instead was a compact sphere of light, calm, steady, indifferent to solar radiation, as if the sun itself had no power over it. The discovery struck like a tremor through the scientific community. Comets are supposed to burn and shed, their tails carved by sunlight and solar wind. That is how the universe writes their story. Yet 3i Atlas doesn't follow the script. It brightened by a factor of five, turned bluer than the sun itself, and then stayed perfectly intact. Dr. Avi Loeb from Harvard calls it an anomaly that refuses to explain itself. Some whisper it might be a relic of ancient physics. Others fear it could be something built. Either way, its silent glow has become the most haunting question in modern astronomy, a question with no tail. On October 29th, 3i Atlas made its closest approach to the Sun, a distance of about 203 million kilometers. At that moment, it absorbed 770 watts of solar radiation per square meter, enough to boil ice and tear molecules apart. This was supposed to be the climax of its journey, the moment it erupted in gas and dust, forming a blazing tail like every other comet in the solar catalog. Instead, telescopes recorded something no one had seen before. The object grew five times brighter in hours, yet it showed no signs of vaporization. Instruments that should have detected plumes of sublimating ice found none. Solar observatories recorded a color shift that left astronomers speechless. 3i Atlas had become bluer than the sun itself, a shade no comet has ever produced. Normally, comets glow red because their surfaces are cooler, scattering the sun's light through dust. But blue implies heat, metal, and reflection, not melting snowballs, but something that reflects energy with surgical precision. Dr. Loeb's first thought was simple yet unsettling. If it's brightening without shedding, something else is powering it. When he ran the numbers, he realized that if outgassing alone caused its acceleration, it must have lost at least 10% of its mass, maybe 20. That's billions of tons of matter. And yet the void around it was pristine, perfectly clean. The cosmos showed no trace of what should have been a comet's funeral shroud. Days later came the photographs that forced every scientist to stop and stare. The same telescope that had just imaged a solar system comet called Lemon, displaying the textbook tail sweeping away from the sun, turned its gaze to 3i Atlas. What it captured didn't match anything in the astrophysical record. There was no tail, no plume, no fan of gas. Just a circular, glowing blur, identical to what had been seen months earlier when it was still far from solar heat. If it were a normal comet, the solar wind should have sculpted a luminous streamer stretching millions of kilometers. Instead, 3i Atlas looked untouched, immune to radiation. It's as if the sun had no influence at all, one observer wrote. The comparison image with Comet Lemon became an emblem of disbelief. Lemon, with its elegant arc of light. Atlas, a stubborn sphere of mystery. The contradiction was too perfect to ignore. Two comets, two identical observation conditions. One behaves as physics dictates, the other rewrites physics altogether. The simplest explanation is that it isn't a comet at all, but no one dares to write that sentence in a scientific paper. Then came the measurements that shook orbital mechanics itself. 3i Atlas was not following the gravitational path predicted by Newton's equations. It was accelerating, slowly, smoothly, but undeniably. If gravity alone governed its motion, this deviation couldn't exist. Dr. Loeb's calculations suggested that to produce that level of non-gravitational acceleration naturally, the object would need to expel enormous jets of gas. Yet those jets would be visible, and they weren't. No dust, no vapor, no radiation spike. It was as if an invisible hand was guiding it. Loeb's estimate was brutal. If this were genuine outgassing, the object would have lost at least one-tenth of its entire mass, leaving a massive, visible cloud. Nothing appeared. Instead, the object continued serenely along its course, neither slowing nor fragmenting. The equations no longer worked. And in science, 
When the math stops working, something fundamental has been misunderstood, or something new has entered the stage. While orbital data baffled dynamicists, spectral readings stunned chemists. 3i Atlas was bleeding nickel in quantities far greater than iron, a ratio that simply doesn't exist in natural cosmic dust. On Earth, that composition appears only in industrial alloys, metals designed to endure corrosion and heat. Even stranger, its polarization data, the way light twists after bouncing off its surface, was far outside any known range for a comet. Natural ice and rock scatter light predictably. Atlas did not. Its polarization was extreme, negative, chaotic, as though the surface were engineered to manipulate reflection. Dr. Loeb listed these among nearly 10 separate anomalies. The color, the composition, the trajectory, the lack of a tail, the nickel signature, the alignment with the planetary plane, even its proximity to the mysterious 1977 WOW signal. Each could, perhaps, be coincidence. Together, they built a mosaic of improbability so dense that calling it random felt dishonest. Maybe, Loeb admitted carefully, this trajectory was designed by some intelligence. For a man of science, those words carried the weight of blasphemy, and yet he said them. The more researchers examined its orbit, the harder it became to dismiss intent. 3i Atlas travels in the plane of the planets, threading almost perfectly through the ecliptic, something no previous interstellar visitor has done. It swept near Mars, Venus, and Jupiter with uncanny precision, as if using their gravity for subtle course adjustments. When plotted backward, its path seemed tailored to slip behind the Sun at the exact moment Earth was on the opposite side, an alignment that hid it from direct observation during its brightest phase. Statistically, the chance of such geometry happening by accident is about 0.005%. Randomness doesn't hide that efficiently. It was as if the object knew where our instruments were and chose a moment when our planet couldn't see. When asked what that meant, Loeb's answer was quiet but telling, Perhaps we are simply not the only ones navigating the cosmos. As public curiosity surged, Loeb found himself briefing members of the United States Congress, explaining the data in the simplest terms possible. He reminded them that science follows evidence, not belief, that ignoring data had once kept the Vatican from looking through Galileo's telescope. The Earth, he said, had circled the sun billions of times before religion conceded the truth, and it will continue to do so no matter what people choose to believe. His message was clear. Look at the evidence. The images, the acceleration, the missing tail. They are real, verifiable, measurable. Lawmakers listened, fascinated and uneasy. Some asked whether any of our rockets could intercept it. Loeb had to tell them the truth. No. 3i Atlas is traveling three times faster than our fastest spacecraft and is roughly 50 times larger than SpaceX's Starship. Nothing on Earth can catch it. The room fell silent. Because when the universe sends something you cannot reach, you are left only with observation and humility. Loeb tried to keep the conversation anchored in science. He emphasized that the simplest explanation might still be natural. A massive icy rock formed in an exotic environment, shaped by conditions unknown to our solar system. Maybe its anomalies were the product of ancient chemistry, not intelligence. But even that conservative view carried profound implications. If nature can craft something that behaves this precisely, then the universe is far stranger than we imagined. And if it isn't nature, if 3i Atlas is technological, then we are staring at evidence of another civilization, one capable of surviving the interstellar gulf. Either possibility changes everything. When asked if humanity should worry, Loeb half smiled and said, only if it sends probes to Earth. My hope is that we won't receive an unwanted gift for Christmas. The remark was lighthearted, but behind it lay the unease of every astronomer watching the data stream in. Because December 19th, the date of its closest approach, was approaching fast. Now, as telescopes worldwide continue tracking it, 3i Atlas drifts steadily closer. It remains a glowing, tailless sphere, indifferent to heat, untouched by radiation, sailing through the solar wind as if physics were optional. 
the Galileo Project's observatories, including the newest installation in Las Vegas, keep their instruments trained on the sky, hoping for one more clue, one more deviation, one more flash of meaning. The U.S. Pentagon's new All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, created to study unidentified phenomena, claims it has no evidence of anything extraterrestrial. Maybe that's true. Or maybe what's happening now lies outside their jurisdiction, beyond defense, beyond politics. Because if 3i Atlas is natural, it still forces us to rewrite the physics of comets. And if it's not, then we are witnessing something unprecedented. A visitor that passes through our neighborhood without speaking, without burning, without leaving a trace, except for the question echoing through every mind that dares to look. What if the universe is no longer silent, just subtle? In the cold expanse between planets, 3i Atlas continues its silent voyage, indifferent to our curiosity and untouched by the laws we thought ruled the universe. No tail, no trail, no sign of weakness, just a sphere of light sliding through the solar wind as if mocking everything we know about comets. For months, scientists have studied it, debated it, doubted it, but none have explained it. And maybe that's because 3i Atlas was never meant to be explained. Maybe it was meant to be noticed. Think about that for a moment. Every comet that's ever passed near the sun has obeyed the same physics. Heat, expansion, sublimation, release. They glow, they burn, and they die. But not this one. It came from outside our system, older than our planet, entered on a trajectory so precise it threaded the needle of our solar plane, brightened like a flare, turned bluer than the sun, and then stopped talking. No gases, no debris, no sound, just stillness. If this is natural, then the universe has a new language we haven't yet learned to read. And if it's not, then something out there wanted to show us that it can cross the stars unseen, unbothered, and perfectly intact. When Dr. Avi Loeb looked at the data, he saw more than numbers. He saw a message about humility, about how little we understand. Ignoring data, he said, is like refusing to look through Galileo's telescope. It doesn't change what's out there. The Earth moved around the sun billions of times before anyone admitted it. The universe doesn't wait for our permission to be real. It simply is. 3i Atlas reminds us of that. It doesn't care what we believe, what we publish, or how uncomfortable its behavior makes us. It just keeps moving, fast, silent, and defiant carrying its secrets beyond the reach of our rockets, beyond the limits of our imagination. Maybe in a few weeks, when it makes its closest pass by Earth, we'll learn more. Maybe the next set of images will reveal the truth, a simple rock forged in a distant star, or something more deliberate, more precise. But maybe we won't. Maybe it will slip back into the void, leaving us with only questions and the faint echo of what might have been. And when that happens, we'll look back at this moment, at the time when a comet with no tail made the entire planet look up and wonder, and realize that discovery isn't about finding answers. It's about recognizing that there are still questions worth chasing. Because somewhere, between science and myth, between evidence and awe, lies the truth we keep forgetting, that the universe is alive with things we haven't yet met. 3i Atlas might not be the first, and it certainly won't be the last. But for a brief moment, it reminded us that the cosmos still has surprises left, and some of them are watching us back. So if this story made you question what's possible, don't let it vanish into the noise of the internet. Subscribe to this channel because we'll keep following 3i Atlas until its last glimmer fades. Turn on notifications so you don't miss what happens when the next visitor crosses our sky. And leave your theory in the comments. What do you think 3i Atlas really is? Because as long as we keep looking up, the universe will keep answering, sometimes quietly, sometimes in blue, and sometimes with no tail at all.